In this tip of the day, let's take a look at one CNC face grooving. Now in this example, you can see that I have a solid model and I also have some wireframe geometry. Let's focus on just the wireframe geometry. Now to perform a face groove, head over to the command manager, select lathe toolpaths and from there you can either select groove roughing or groove finishing. Let's go with groove roughing. Now to select the geometry, I'm just going to left hand mouse click select the arrow, that's going to determine the side and the direction, and then left click again to designate the end. So all I've done is I've just selected a range for our face grooving. I'm going to right hand mouse click, and here we go. Now it's important to note that face grooving works exactly like any other grooving within one CNC. But what's important is you do need to select a face grooving tool. Now to get to the tool library, you can left click on the graphic or left click on the tool changer. Go to library and you'll note that within the grooving tools there are face groove tools you can select from. I'm going to select this one. We'll click OK to that. I'm going to put this in turret position number one. I'll click next on that. Next. All this looks good. I'm going to go with standard grooving, bi-directional. Let's click next on that. And all I'm doing here is I'm just adding an extra hundred thousands to the geometry we selected. So I put a hundred thousands in for cut from start and also for cut to end. We'll click finish on that, and there we go. All right, now let's wrap this video up with a quick simulation. I'm going to right hand mouse click, simulate. Let's use the solid model I created a little bit earlier. And here we go. Here's our face grooving operation. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.